In this video, we're going to talk about environmental sustainability, what it means and what it will take to become environmentally sustainable. The planet is under big pressure. Water, climate, soil, there's so much in the ecosystem around us that are under pressure. And if you ask environmental scientists whether we are in a sustainable state, they would say no. And they would probably point at what is often referred to as the planetary boundaries. This is a measure of the nine distinct uh, boundaries that have been found to be the most important indicators of the health of our planet. I already mentioned one of them, uh, fresh water. Another one is nitrogen and the nitrogen cycle. Uh, a third one is climate. A fourth one is the acidification of, uh, of, the, of the ocean. And in some of these, we're already far into unsustainable patterns. For some of them, we are slightly better off. And for some of them, we don't really know. There are no good ways of capturing the, st the state of, of some of these indicators. So we know that we have big problems when it comes to environmental sustainability, but at least we have a sort of map that can guide us in dealing with the right kinds of problems. So what can companies do? How can they change from non-renewable resources to renewable resources? How can they do activities that supports the ecosystem that we are dependent on? This, of course, depends largely on what kind of company we're talking about, what kind of sector we're talking about, and also, of course, where in the world this company operates. Right now, this is being filmed in Bergen, Norway, a place known for lots of rain and lots of water. Had we filmed this video instead in, let's say, the south of California, our feeling around the issues related to water would be different. What I'm getting at, of course, is that for different companies in different places uh, doing different kinds of activities, which environmental sustainability issues are most important uh, will be a function of these characteristics. Here in Norway right now, for instance, we're seeing uh, companies that are offering electrical boats rather than diesel-driven boats. We see that uh, players in the fisheries and fish farming industries are finding ways to farm fish or catch fish in ways that are more in line uh, with sustainability. And we're seeing in lots of other industries that companies are sort of stretching towards more environmentally friendly ways of operating. There are signs that companies are starting to solve problems instead of creating them. At the same time, the problems that need to be solved are so large that we need small and huge uh, transformations of how we do businesses in order to point out the, the, the problems out there and try to find new ways of solving them. Because when we think about environmental sustainability, we know that we are using too many resources and we're not even using those resources to their full capacity. We know that we are emitting too much. We know that we are putting needless strain on ecosystems, on waters, and so on. And for all of these indicators, we need to improve. We need to strive towards a more environmentally sustainable society. 